What is up everybody? This is Investing Sensei. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can sell covered calls on the Webull app. So just for anybody that doesn't know what a covered call is, you basically, it consists of two things. You need 100 shares of a company and then as well, you're basically going to be selling a call against those shares. So with the covered call, this is basically you're giving insurance to the buyer of the call. Uh, telling them hey you can sell these shares and uh, they can exercise you or you uh, basically the contract could expire worthless but real quick so as you guys can see I do have my portfolio here before we do get started on the covered calls we do need to make sure that you are eligible for the options you do need to apply for it so if we go over here the more uh, if you go down here to option trading levels uh, you click on that, you'll should see it load up a little bit. You'll see that I'm on level four. Weebles really, I think, on level three right now, but it's showing up as level four. They don't have those features yet. But what the main important part that you want is you want to make sure that you have covered calls uh, available on there. If you do, then you will be able to do covered calls. You should you should be able to have it with level two. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys with the covered calls. So. As you guys can see here is I have a hundred shares of Win Resorts and I actually have sold a covered call on Win Resorts. I uh, sold it at a strike price of $118. That covered call will expire on February 12th, 2021. And then I did collect the premium of a dollar and eight cents. So that's the benefit of out a covered call is that while you have a hundred shares of a company, let's say a dividend company like Apple or so, you can sell covered calls against it uh, and you'll collect an extra premium just for holding those shares. Uh, obviously, if it goes above the strike price, then you're most likely going to get exercised and your shares will get taken away, but you will make the difference in capital appreciation as well as you get to keep the premium. But anyways, the back to the tutorial. So since uh, I am doing this recording after the market has closed, I... Uh, what I need to do is I'm going to show you guys how you guys can access. So I'm just going to go over here. Let's say we were going to go to Tesla. So if you went to Tesla, I just imagine I had 100 shares. Click on that, the 100 shares. What you would do in this case here, you would do a sell. And then uh, from this point, you should see the options on the bottom right. Click options. And then this would present you with... Uh, Make sure that you have a single options so you'll want to select that and then you'll want to make sure you have selected calls because you don't want to do puts you want to do calls and then at this point you guys can see in the center that that is the current stock price of tesla it's at 804 dollars uh, what you want to do is with the covered call you want to select a good strike price so let's say that uh, we wanted to we know that that well, I guess it depends on how do you want the shares actually taken away or you, you just want to collect some extra premium and you want to keep those shares. So if you didn't want to get your shares taken away, you would probably want to select a strike price that you probably don't think that uh, Tesla would reach by that time the contract expired. And I guess the one main thing I did forget to mention is up here you can select the expiration date. So this one will expire on the 12th of February, the next one February 19th. And so on and so on it depends the further down you go the more the premium that you'll collect from the covered calls but as well it also will take longer to expire so with the covered call the goal is for you to basically have that contract expire worthless and you just get to keep the premium but anyways I, I'm gonna scroll down here and we are going to just sell a covered call on the 12th and let's say that for some reason we wanted to do the 835 dollars strike price and so if you scroll over here to the right you can see the delta you'll see that it's 22 so you subtract that so 22 is like 22 percent you subtract it out of 100 so then that means that it's about an 78 percent probability that it'll expire worthless and so Let's say that we wanted to sell that one. So you just, you'll see this option is down here. Make sure you change this to a sell. And then at this point, you'll see that we will most likely make around $590. So it's $5.90 times 100 because remember one contract is 100 shares. You click edit. 
and then you'll see down here that make sure that it says short call and then you'll see sell that's very important make sure it says sell and not buy and then the call and then make sure you have your correct strike price which for in our case is 835 dollars and then our expiration date uh, at this point you can play around with the limit price you can change it move it around uh, so this would basically the bid and ask spread uh, this will tell you how much you kind of need you could probably easily get it with uh, 590 dollars or you could do 600 six dollars and two cents so you just play around with it see what it does get approved or not when you're ready to go you can actually select how many contracts you want to sell so let's say you had 200 shares you could put this to two shares well two contracts but we're going to do one at this point down here you can see how much you're going to collect in premium you're basically going to collect 590 dollars in premium for your shares for that covered call as well you know if it does exp by the time that the contract expires if the um, the shares are above $835 you will make your difference of $835 minus your cost basis of Tesla on top of your premium so that would be pretty awesome uh, so you just click sell and then just confirm everything here make sure that it's correct that you have your strike price your expiration date sell the number of contracts and then you'll see how much you're gonna get $590 you click confirm and then in my case since I don't have a hundred shares you'll see this uh, kind of message where it tells you that I don't have enough shares uh, to cover the covered call because a covered call you do need 100 shares but anyways you'll click uh, I'm gonna go back and then I'll show you guys exactly how it would look so as you guys can see with uh, Neo in our case we do have two covered calls at a strike price of $67 it is going to expire on the 12th of February we did collect 50 cents which is times a hundred so that's $50 times two because we do have two contracts we made a hundred dollars there and so in our case we do still have some time before the contract will expire and we could buy it back so we could pay the difference so $50 minus the 19 dollars we would make a difference so that is going to be pretty awesome we could do that and collect the difference so we'd collect uh, 31 dollars times two so 62 dollars is what we would collect which you could also see on the right over here if we were to buy back our contract so that is basically it with uh, how you can sell a covered call and just for example real quick if you guys did want to buy back your contract you can do it by uh doing well if if let's say on February 12th, you just let it ride, you don't have to touch it or anything. Uh, this will automatically update on that next following Monday morning. And uh, if it was below your strike price, you basically keep the premium by itself. Uh, the other one that can happen is if the stock market well, this stock closed above your strike price, your shares are most likely going to get taken away. And Monday morning, you should see the difference. You'll get the capital appreciation from your cost basis uh, in, your, in the strike price, as well as you could keep the premium. Or the other one is where you could buy back the contract before even expiration if you have plenty of time. My goal here is to almost collect about 70% of the premium every time and then I basically uh, continue doing that throughout the week but the way that you can buy back a contract so in our case we would collect we would basically call, click on this covered call and then at this point you want to select the call itself so you click right here and this would take you to buy it back so see how it says long call buy call and then make sure it says the exact strike price so it was 67 for us and then the correct expiration date and that tells you you can play around with the amount of how much you want to pay in our case it's asking about 19 cents is what we could pay we could play around it and squeeze out a dollar or two left and then you would just select the number of contracts you click buy and then click confirm and then uh, at that point you would just wait for it to be filled you could see it over here in the open orders and continue modifying it until it actually gets filled or just wait on it but yeah guys this is all I have for you this how you sell a covered call on Webull it's a uh, pretty awesome so let me know if you guys want to see any of the different tutorials 
I'll try to get some time to make these and don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification and as well uh, simply support the channel by smashing that like button uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video take care stay safe out there bye guys <laughs>